I wanted to give you a brief overview of how we've been scaling up over the last few weeks in our efforts to fight COVID-19. Firstly, we began a significant number of tracing centres. There are now 50 community tracing centres. Secondly, we have already 1,400 people involved in contact tracing, and we have the capacity to build that up to 4,000 people. We've also scaled up our lab capacity, although we are currently dealing with very significant challenges worldwide in the availability of testing kits and reagents, but we're working on that. We've also increased our overall bed capacity all across the hospital system. We currently have 2,200 vacant beds in our hospital system and we've recently concluded an agreement with the private hospital system that gives us an extra 2,000 beds for our use during COVID-19. I'm here in the City West Hotel today which has now become our first co-located isolation and also step-down facility. Here we have this facility for over 1,600 beds primarily to support people who don't have to go into the hospital system and give the capacity for isolation. It'll also support people who are stepping down from a hospital system but not quite ready to go home just yet. I know the issue of PPE, personal protective equipment, has been an issue of major concern. We have been in negotiations worldwide to secure a very significant order of over 200 million and that delivery has started over the last few days. We are, however, engaged worldwide to secure alternative stocks should these supplies not materialise to the extent that we expect. It's a very competitive worldwide market, but our procurement teams have done really well to secure what we have to date. Finally, I'd like to really express my gratitude and thanks to staff, all our healthcare staff, all across the country. Your response has been phenomenal. I mentioned previously I've worked in many sectors and I've never seen anything like the mobilisation and commitment of all our healthcare workers. I know we're facing into a very difficult period in coming weeks, but I also know we've had great support from the public and from organisations all across the country. Thank you and I look forward to working with you in the coming weeks in a very challenging time.